You know, I saw on the cover of Car Driver. No. Amber Rose. Oh, whoa, no way. She's like my bud. Oh, cool. Yeah, like, you know, Rose Bud. Oh, great. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Aussie Theater, hosted by me, Alan Johnson. And me, Austin Carbone. Aussie Theater first brings you three acts, one journey. And uh, 412 volts. Of course. This week's is a special uh, tableau theme based on our good friend Amber Rosebud, aka Citizen Kane. I think you'll like it. I absolutely adore you. Oh, Charles, you can't spend all night in the newspaper. I'll have Mr. Bernstein push my meetings until noon. What time is it? I don't know, late. It's still early. You know, Charles, you kept me waiting a long time when you went to the newspaper for 10 minutes last night. Beverly, my dear, you know that your only correspondent is the Inquirer. You know, sometimes I wish I had a rival with flesh and blood. I, I, I don't spend that much time in the newspaper. It's not all about the time you spend, Charles. It's what you print. Attacking the president? You mean Uncle Barack? You mean the president of the United States? He's, st he's still Uncle Barack. A well-intentioned fat head. He's the president, Charles, not you. And that's a mistake we will soon correct. You know, Charles, Mr. Bernstein sent over an absolute monstrosity the other day. I simply can't have it in the nursery. Mr. Bernstein is apt to visit the nursery, drop in every once in a while. Does he have to? Yes. But, but Charles, what will the readers think? They'll think whatever I tell them to think. And let me tell you something, Mr. Bernstein. Let's do a little secret. I have money and power, you see? And, and if not for me to look out for the underprivileged, who will? Someone without money and power? Yes, yes, money and power. Well, let me tell you, I saw your bank account today, Charles. Oh, did you? Yes. And let me ask you this honestly, my dear boy. Do you think it's wise to continue this philanthropic endeavor? The Inquirer is losing a million dollars a year for you. You're right. I did lose a million dollars last year. I'm expected to lose a million dollars this year, and I'm also expected to lose a million dollars next year. But you know what? At the rate of a million dollars a year, I'll have the closest place in 60, 60 years. years. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't so very rich, I could have been a really great man. Don't you think you are? I think I did pretty well under the circumstances. What do you want to be? Everything you hate. Uh...